I sounds like what we planned, so I think we did good. We'll leave him in. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Much, sir. Right dress. Oh, wow. <laughs> Italian. <coughs> Ready. Aim. Elevation. Fire. In place. Rest. So, uh, everyone to clean their muskets now after you take your coats off. Yep. Any questions? That actually looked pretty freaking yeah. good. I don't know. Good. I, 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 fun, I think it looked pretty good. Fun, right? I missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> how, how can you wimp out? What were you looking at? Oh, the ground. I meant mostly the ground. I am a poor wayfarer and stranger Traveling through this world alone so, welcome to 1863 of the American Civil War. Actually, we're sap recording because there's all that food. In that fair land to which I go, I'm going home to see my mother. I'm going home. Yep. Put it back. You no, know, there's a real spark. We call it the bug. Like the bug bit you, you know? I have always seen these films uh, using reenactors like the movie Gettysburg and Gods and Generals. I always thought, you know, they, there's no way they do that anymore. Then I looked it up one day and I found the eighth on the internet. And I went to my first event in 2019, just before COVID, and I was just hooked. At that time, I started buying all of my stuff. I made sure to join some of the Facebook pages and uh, talk to people and really got all of the best quality things. So everything that I wear is what you would have actually seen a Civil War soldier wearing from the 8th Connecticut Volunteers. It's uh, usually something not a lot of people get to do and it's really special for me in particular to portray someone and really do them justice historically for audiences and for myself. It's a really educational experience. How you feeling? It's been a good fight. I can't quite tell who won. I think we called it off because there's too much bloodshed. We captured one Reb though, he's back there. So I think we're having to do a prisoner exchange. It's a good fight. Like that. Did you actually lie face down the whole? Face down. Fantastic work. And she uh, did a tourniquet. Oh, that's great. Neck. That's awesome. Resurrected me, and I took another hit. Oh, that's awesome. Down. No way. Tourniquet that's around great. the neck. Yeah, I didn't really good understand that, that, but because it looks like that. Yeah. Is that, yeah, I guess so. Uh, but the only thing that was anticlimactic was it pushed us all the way here, yeah. and then Patton just raised his hat and was like, "Look." Oh. I'm Scott Bates. I'm Jacob Bates' father. I can't hit for crap. You do hear about father to son with this uh, hobby, but in this case, when he was about uh, 12 years old, Jacob was very intent on becoming a reenactor. He did research on the internet about units near us. I think he emailed some New Hampshire unit and they never responded, and then this group did, uh, the Connecticut 8th. We went to an event that they had. It was just something that Jacob took to immediately. He was a drummer that day, and he had his arm amputated, you know. And, yeah, I didn't realize, but he just loved the immersion of being in a different time, living the history of the people from that time, and I think it brought to life to him the stories that I used to talk about, but he got me interested in uh, being part of this. For me, um, it is my passion to be with him while he's walking on this path, and I'm excited to see uh, what it does for him in life, you know, giving him new perspectives and new friendships, so I think that's pretty great. And, you know, I'm not sure I'd do it if it weren't uh, for my son. We learn from our kids, and that's what I'm beginning to realize. And I'm 56, he's 15, about to be 16. And that's exciting, because when you begin as a parent, it's kind of like you're the teacher, and now I'm listening more, and when I'm more I listen, the more I learn from him, so that's another exciting thing that I'm going to look forward to in all these trips together, because it's time together, and you have time when you're driving to the event, you have time when you're sitting around the campfire, 
and it's, it's not like it is always at the house. And then we have something to talk about in common uh, the rest of the time when we're at home, too. Where we change this? You're right. Yes, we'll rally around the flag, boys, we'll rally once again. Shouting the battle cry of freedom. We will rally from the hillside, we'll gather from the plain. Shouting the battle cry of freedom. The Union forever, hurrah, boys, hurrah. Down with the traitor and up with the star. Oh, well, yeah. Basically, like, right next to the Union uh, Reservation. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. So yeah, we'll up. Oh, OK. Half hour up the road. Yeah, right. So what we have here, this is a gum blanket. It's not so watery, that must be sweat, but this is a gum blanket here. And this side traditionally goes uh, towards the ground, this side towards you, that way it traps your heat in, especially on a cold night, that's very helpful. Those are some of my tin items and utensils that we've already used. We always make sure to throw some boiling water in there to clean them out. Now this is called an A-tent or a wedge tent. It's like a Hilton compared to the shelter halves that you're gonna see outside. Uh, it's because my father and I are both sharing this tent that we have it. This is my rifle here. I was not using it, my father was. It's an 1861 Springfield rifle. But we've worked on it a lot. That's mostly just external rust. The inside's clean as a whistle, so that's wonderful. This is my biggest hobby. I'm sure I do gaming and whatnot. That's just more for fun. But... So this is what I spend the majority of my money on. For a few years, I was saving for a rifle, which I now have. I think I'll call her Cindy. That's a Civil War song. Uh, and I love Civil War music. I'll send it to you. Water run, lads. Who wants some? I'll make sure to drop them all in the cup on the street. There you go. So did you just like take it upon yourself to uh, get everybody water? Or? As a musician, I don't have a whole lot to do when I'm not drumming. Those gentlemen, they have to stack arms and they usually just talk amongst themselves. It's great for the company and everyone needs water. Otherwise, each soldier has to individually go and fill them. So, yes, you could say I take it upon myself, but it is my role to do so. And I'm really just trying to fill the role that a real soldier would have done. This is heavy. Oh. And I looked up Civil War reenactment in Connecticut. I found out that it still goes on. Like I said, I'd, I'd say I got into this basically, you know? It's like LARPing. Yeah, it is, except we're doing it right. We have standards that we're trying to look like these people and recreate what they did. So we have real guidelines where we see ourselves as taking it seriously, where to the outside world, I'm sure, you don't think there's much difference. But we recreate actual historical events. We work with the National Park Service. It's real deal stuff. We educate the public. I'm going to go to my camp. I take my orders from my captain, so I'll see if I have time for supper. If everyone's starting to get ready, I gotta rush back and get my drum on, get my uh, frock coat on, it's a musician's frock coat, so you'll see the blue lines to identify me. Some people say I get too melancholy, because even just last night I was sitting, laying on my back, looking up at the stars. And you just never get to do that, you know? If I had a choice to be anywhere else in the world, this is where I'd want to be. File. Ready? Commence one, firing. Two, one. We do these two. events about ten times a year, I'd say, with the eighth. Uh, and it can be an emotional experience, too. Especially now that I'm trying to do it right. Support arc. And I'm really excited to continue to go to even bigger events where we have 10,000 reenactors, it's incredible. And those are in Virginia. But these local ones are special because we get to bring the history to people right in their own backyard. And it can be stressful when I get home. I'll sleep for like 10 or 11 hours. Or just, I pass out, you know, because it's exhausting here. When we get here, we're always ready to be here and act the 19th century part and really experience what these soldiers did. And I don't think 
many people understand how lucky they are until they've experienced some, how our ancestors lived, and especially the soldiers, because it's rough conditions. So really doing it right and experiencing that really helps you appreciate your life. You didn't see what happened with the flag, did you? Did I tell you? Uh, yeah, you told me about that. It was so cool, though. Right. He but, inverted his rifle like the club oh and gosh. charged our line, wow. and, like ran onto my flag, like onto the tip of it, and right. like then fell back. Oh. And I was, what did I say? I said, Lincoln and Liberty, bastard. Uh, oh, oh, boy. Yeah. I think I heard you say that. Did you? I was lying face down. When we were charging, we were yeah. also like, Hurrah for Sheridan! Was, I heard yeah, that, that too. Was when I was laying there and I thought to myself, I was looking up at the trees and I thought, well, some kid back then, you know, that was the last thing he was going to see. So you have those moments, right? Yeah, Civil when War it's moments. like, whoa. You should write about that. Yeah. I was at a conference in uh, Louisiana recently, and I told him how I had made a presentation, uh, and I got an applause, whatever. And he said, well, Dad, I hope you feel like you got the uh, recognition uh, that, you know, you, you deserve on that. And I thought, wow, this uh, young man, because that's who he is, uh, knows me, and um, is a good person, and going to be a great person to be able to grow with um, throughout a life. Lifetime, so I am excited about that. If that takes me to sleep, not with a tent out in a field, you know, with a blanket under Christ knows what uh, kind of weather conditions, I guess I'll have to do that. 